Trust in the life force of the deep mystery is not the name of the Twilight Zone episode, but it is the name of the latest The Comet Is Coming album. This is the second studio full length album from these guys. They're a, a, a new jazz, spiritual jazz, jazz fusion group from London. And I noticed that this album was getting quite a bit of traction on the website Radio Music, which is a really good website generally if you uh, want to check out like new albums and find new underground releases and obscure music um, because I always find a great deal of stuff on there and I'm thankful for it because I found an album like this and this is superb. I mentioned already that they're a jazz fusion group but the overall feeling of this album makes me feel like I've been taken to space. The album is so futuristic in ways I can't really describe honestly but all I can say is that when I'm listening to this album, I really do feel like I'm being taken through a journey in the unknowns across the galaxy. Especially the first couple of tracks, which are definitely a bit slower and not as quite as impactful, but I do feel like they're worthwhile because they're building up to the Summon of Fire, which to me is absolutely the best track on the whole album. Just unbelievably explosive, just the drumming on this thing is unreal. The drumming across the entire album is phenomenal, but the drumming on this track in particular is absolutely extraordinary. The saxophone on this album is thundering. Honestly, it has this roar to it that just feels like you're being throttled in your ears. The playing on this album, the across the whole thing is immense, and the synthesizers synthesizers that blend in with the instrumentation across this thing works incredibly well too. It's so otherworldly at times and I just really appreciate how everything comes together in such a unique way. Although, you know, new jazz has been a thing for quite a lot of years now. This isn't obviously like the first time it's ever been done, but I just feel like they're taking it to the next level across this album. A good friend of mine, Connor, actually brought out an interesting comparison as this is like this year's version of Your Queen is a Reptile from Sons of Kemet last year, which a lot of people adored and love. I thought it was decent, it was alright, but I do actually feel like that comparison is quite apt because this is just the more like intergalactic version of that, the futuristic space version of Your Queen is a Reptile. Because like on that album, there is something to be said on this album too with the Cape Tempest feature, who by the way has an excellent album from 2014. I still really feel kind of sad that it never really took off because I feel as though it deserved way more attention than it got. Her last album wasn't too good to be honest, but Everybody Down definitely a huge highlight for hip hop in this decade in my opinion. Comes through here with this amazing spoken word piece that, um, once again just shows how much passion she has. She, she's always had this immense amount of passion. Everything she says she just speaks from the heart, like there is just so much truth to what she says as well. Even when you don't necessarily agree with what she's saying, you can absolutely take apart the things that she says and it just makes you think. I really uh, appreciate the underlying sentiment of what she's saying as well, where she's talking about how people are just unable to listen and pay attention to what other people might say and might think and they may have something worthwhile saying but people are just too busy stuck in their own echo chambers not really willing to learn about other people's experiences or understand where people might be coming from which has essentially just turned everyone selfish and just unwilling to at least try and learn from other people's perspectives which I do think holds a lot of weight to it but there's no point in me saying anything that she's saying in this track because there's no way I could possibly word it the way she does. We go from there to the Super Zodiac track which is this pacey and energetic jazz song which once again that the saxophones across this thing are phenomenal like I keep saying this but just the playing across this album is next level honestly. Time Wave Zero feels very hard bop influence which is not a uh, uh, a description I could say for most of the other tracks as they do feel quite individual to themselves and unique but this one definitely feels like it's pulling from that era of hard bop. Unity is a much more somber track, it's very calming and it kind of pulls you away from all the manic craziness that was on the previous track and then of course we end the album off with the universe finally wakes up which does end the album off in quite an ordinary fashion I would say. Pr nothing really going on here that I would call 
you know, impressive like I have been calling most of the other tracks. It's not as rhythmic, it's not as energetic, it's not as pulsating, but I suppose it doesn't really need to be. It's get me thinking about the theme of this album though, because it is called The Universe Finally Wakes Up, as if to say we're in the future now, because this album is very futuristic. It's taken us to a point where we've realized the atrocities that we once committed the blood of our past, the ways that we used to be, and we've corrected those errors, we've unified, and now we're finally waking up and seeing that this is a way forward, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Perhaps that's a little bit of a reach, but it's just an interesting way to look at this album because of obviously this spoken word piece, which I feel as though is quite important to the theme of this. And not only that, but the music is so damn good anyway that you could look at it that way and think maybe there's something tying it all together, or you could just listen to it and have a great time with the friggin' great, excellent rhythmic instrumentation, the throttling saxophones, the rumbling drumming. It's it's just all amazing to listen to either way. But yeah, this is a fantastic album. I'm really enjoying this. Definitely going to be a year-end list highlight for me. And I'm going to go 8.5 out of 10. Just look at the album cover and that's exactly what you're going to get with this album. It's very much indicative of the music here. It's colourful, otherworldly, bright, all of the words you could possibly use to describe the album cover is basically what you're going to get with the music here. I hope you enjoyed my review. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this album if you've heard it. And uh, have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.